Welcome friends. In this video you'll learn English conversations in daily life. Whether you're a beginner or a more advanced speaker, this video is for you. Watch it and improve your English conversation skills today. If you want to understand native speakers English you must practice English conversations daily. You must practice daily English conversation regularly. Before starting the video please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos and also comment. This is just a part of a big series, so make sure to check back to see more. Let's get started. Giving and receiving compliments. James, it's important to appreciate the people we care about. You're a kind and caring friend, and I'm grateful to know you. Thank you, Rosie. You have a wonderful sense of humor and always bring positivity to our interactions. I value our friendship. That's so sweet, James. You're an excellent listener, and it's so easy to talk to you. You make me feel heard and understood. Rosie, your creativity and passion for life are truly inspiring. You bring a vibrant energy to everything you do. James, you have a warm and welcoming personality that makes everyone feel at ease. You have the gift of making people feel comfortable. It's a pleasure to know you, Rosie. You're a remarkable friend, and I appreciate all the positive qualities you bring to our friendship. Solving a problem together. James, the power went out in my apartment. It's so dark in here. Don't worry, Rosie. Let's figure this out. Have you checked the circuit breaker? I haven't, but I'm not sure which switch to flip. I can guide you through it. First, let's locate the circuit breaker box. It's usually in a utility room or hallway. Found it. It's in the hallway. Now what? Great. Open the panel and you'll see a series of switches. Look for the one labeled main or power. It might be tripped. I see it. It's in the middle position. I'll flip it back to the on position. Perfect. That should do it. The power should come back on in a moment. It worked, James. Thank you for your help. Not a problem, Rosie. Teamwork and problem solving make everything easier. Celebrating achievements. James, I have some exciting news to share. I recently got a promotion at work. That's fantastic, Rosie. Congratulations on your well-deserved promotion. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, James. It's been a goal of mine for a while, and I'm thrilled it finally happened. How about you? Any recent achievements? Well, I completed a half marathon last month. It was a big personal goal and I'm feeling quite accomplished. That's an incredible achievement, James. You must be in great shape. It's inspiring to see you reach your goals. Thanks, Rosie. We both know the value of setting and working toward our goals. It's a wonderful feeling when we accomplish them. It really is, James. Here's to more achievements and celebrating each other's successes. Visiting a local fair. James, there's a local fair happening this weekend. Shall we check it out? That sounds like a fun idea, Rosie. What kind of attractions do they have at the fair? There'll be carnival rides, games, and even a petting zoo. And, of course, the fair food is always a highlight. A petting zoo sounds adorable, and I can't resist fair food. Cotton candy, funnel cakes, and corn dogs, here we come. Haha, <laughs> you got it, James. It's all about indulging in some guilty pleasures and enjoying the festive atmosphere. I'm excited to try some of the games and win a giant stuffed animal as a prize. The games are a blast. Let's plan for a day filled with laughter, good food, and unforgettable memories. Discussing Vacation Memories James, let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about our past vacations. 
Do you have any favorite travel memories? Oh, absolutely, Rosie. One of my all-time favorite trips was when I went backpacking through Europe. The architecture, the culture, and the people left a lasting impression. Europe is a dream destination. I once visited a charming village in the Swiss Alps, and the breathtaking scenery and fresh mountain air were unforgettable. The Swiss Alps must have been a picture-perfect experience. I also had an incredible adventure in Thailand, exploring beautiful beaches and enjoying the local cuisine. Thailand is known for its stunning beaches and delicious food. I had an amazing time in New Zealand, where I hiked through lush rainforests and explored breathtaking landscapes. New Zealand's natural beauty is legendary. It's wonderful to exchange travel stories and relive those incredible experiences. Absolutely, James. Travel memories are like treasures, and they stay with us forever. Planning a surprise. James, it's time to plan a surprise for our friend Sarah's birthday. What do you think we should do? That's a great idea, Rosie. Let's brainstorm. How about throwing her a surprise party with all her favorite people? A surprise party sounds wonderful. We can decorate, prepare her favorite dishes, and even hire a band for some live music. Live music would be a fantastic addition. And what if we also create a personalized photo album with messages from all her friends? That's a heartwarming idea, James. She'll cherish the memories forever. When should we execute the surprise? Her birthday is next week, so we should get everything ready before then and coordinate the surprise on the big day. I'm sure Sarah will be thrilled with the surprise. Let's put our plan into action and make it a day to remember. Watching a sunset. James, let's do something simple but magical. How about watching the sunset together? That's a wonderful idea, Rosie. Where do you think we should go for the best view? There's a hill nearby with a breathtaking view of the horizon. It's a serene spot to watch the colors change as the sun sets. Perfect choice, Rosie. We can bring a cozy blanket and some snacks to enjoy the moment. I'll pack some warm tea and a few snacks, and you can bring the blanket. We'll be all set for a peaceful evening. Watching the sunset together is a great way to appreciate nature and enjoy each other's company. I couldn't agree more, James. Let's capture the beauty of the moment and create a lasting memory. Planning a community event. James, how about organizing a community event? It's a great way to bring people together. That's a fantastic idea, Rosie. What kind of event do you have in mind, and what's the purpose? Let's plan a neighborhood cleanup event. It's a wonderful way to contribute to our community and keep our environment clean. A cleanup event is a great idea. We can also include some fun activities for everyone, like a community picnic or games. I love the picnic idea. It'll give us a chance to relax and enjoy each other's company after the cleanup. Agreed, Rosie. We should start spreading the word, and we can create flyers and use social media to promote the event. The more people involved, the better. Let's work together to make our community event a success. Planning a potluck dinner. James, let's host a potluck dinner with our friends. It'll be a fun and delicious evening. What should we plan? A potluck is a great idea, Rosie. We should start by deciding on a theme or cuisine for the dinner. Italian, perhaps? Italian sounds wonderful. We can have pasta, salads, and some delicious desserts. Should we consider dietary preferences? Good point, Rosie. We should check with our friends if they have any dietary restrictions or allergies to accommodate. Once we have a menu, we can create a sign-up sheet and coordinate who's bringing what. It's important to have a balanced meal. 
organizing is key to a successful potluck. We can also set up a comfortable dining area with some good music. Let's reach out to our friends and start planning this delightful potluck dinner. Reflecting on friendship. James, I think it's important to take a moment and reflect on our friendship. What do you appreciate most about our connection? I agree, Rosie. I value our friendship deeply. What stands out the most to me is your unwavering support and your ability to listen and understand. That means a lot to me, James. I appreciate your positivity and your sense of humor. You always know how to bring a smile to my face. It's easy to be positive around you, Rosie. I also admire your kindness and the way you're always willing to help others. Kindness is important, and I've learned a lot about being considerate from you, James. Our friendship is a source of happiness and strength. Indeed, Rosie. It's a special bond that we've cultivated over time, and I look forward to many more wonderful moments together. Discussing Nature and the Environment James, let's have a conversation about nature and the environment. What are your thoughts on conserving our natural resources? I believe it's crucial, Rosie. The beauty of nature is something we should cherish and protect for future generations. Absolutely. The impacts of climate change and environmental degradation are concerning. What do you think we can do to help? We can start with small steps, like reducing our waste and conserving energy. It's also important to support initiatives and organizations focused on environmental conservation. Those are practical suggestions, James. Even a small change in our daily habits can make a big difference. I also believe in the power of education, raising awareness, and inspiring others to take action. Education is key. We can start by educating ourselves and sharing our knowledge with those around us. Together, we can contribute to a healthier planet. Let's continue to appreciate and protect the wonders of nature, James. Our actions, no matter how small, can have a positive impact. Discussing Home Decor James, I've been thinking about updating the decor in our living spaces. What's your vision for our home? It's a great idea, Rosie. I lean toward a cozy and warm atmosphere. Earthy tones and soft fabrics make a space feels inviting. Coziness is key. I love the idea of adding some indoor plants for a touch of nature. They can really liven up the place. Indoor plants are a great choice. I also think artwork and personal photos can add a lot of character to a room. I agree, James. Let's find some artwork that speaks to us and tells our story. We can create a gallery wall with our favorite memories. That's a wonderful idea. Let's keep the space comfortable, personal, and reflective of our style. Together, we'll transform our living spaces into cozy, welcoming havens. Planning a picnic in nature. James, let's have a picnic in nature this weekend. What's your favorite outdoor spot? I love picnics in the park, Rosie. There's a beautiful park with a lake nearby, and it's a haven for birds and wildlife. That sounds perfect. We can bring some birdseed and enjoy watching the ducks and swans. Should we plan some outdoor games? Outdoor games are a great idea. We can bring a frisbee or a football to play around. And don't forget about the food. I'll pack sandwiches, fresh fruit, and some homemade lemonade. Your homemade lemonade is a must, Rosie. It's going to be a lovely day surrounded by nature. I can't wait, James. It's the ideal way to relax, have fun, and connect with the outdoors. Learning a new recipe. James, how about trying out a new recipe together tonight? I found a delicious one for a homemade pasta dish. That sounds like a fun idea, Rosie. What type of pasta are we making, and what are the key ingredients? 
It's a creamy garlic parmesan pasta with chicken. We'll need chicken breast, pasta, garlic, cream, parmesan cheese, and a few spices. That sounds mouth-watering. I'll grab the ingredients, and you can walk me through the cooking process. First, we'll cook the chicken, then saute the garlic, add the cream and cheese, and toss in the pasta. It's a quick and easy dish. I'm ready to dive into the culinary adventure, Rosie. Let's get started, and then we can enjoy our delicious creation. Discussing Cultural Experiences James, I've had some incredible cultural experiences while traveling. Have you had any memorable encounters? Absolutely, Rosie. One of my favorites was trying authentic street food in Thailand. The flavors were out of this world. Thai street food is amazing. I once attended a traditional Japanese tea ceremony, and the precision and rituals involved were fascinating. That sounds like a unique experience, Rosie. I also had a memorable visit to a local market in Morocco, where I haggled for souvenirs. Haggling can be a fun challenge. I visited a local family's home in India, and they showed me how to make traditional dishes. Learning to cook authentic dishes is a fantastic cultural immersion. It's amazing how food and customs can connect us to different cultures. Indeed, James. These experiences are a reminder of the beauty of diversity in the world. Let's continue exploring different cultures and creating more cultural memories, Rosie. Visiting a farmer's market. James, how about a visit to the local farmer's market this weekend? That sounds like a fantastic plan, Rosie. I love the idea of fresh produce and supporting local businesses. It's a great way to enjoy quality fruits and vegetables. Plus, we can explore artisanal products and handcrafted goods. I'm excited about trying fresh, locally made bread and cheeses. And I've heard there's an excellent selection of organic coffee too. It's a foodie's paradise. I also enjoy chatting with the farmers and vendors. They have such passion for their products. Meeting the people behind the food is a bonus. Plus, it's an eco-friendly way to shop. Let's make a shopping list and enjoy a day at the farmer's market, James. I'm looking forward to it, Rosie. It's going to be a day of culinary delights and local treasures. Talking about fashion. James, fashion is such a fun topic. Do you have any favorite fashion trends or clothing items? Fashion is interesting, Rosie. I love a good pair of jeans. They're so versatile and comfortable. Jeans are a classic choice. I'm into flowy dresses, they make me feel so feminine and relaxed. Dresses are a great option, especially in warm weather. I also like accessorizing with scarves and hats. Accessories can really elevate an outfit. I'm a fan of statement necklaces and big, bold earrings. Statement jewelry can make a bold fashion statement, for sure. It's fascinating how fashion allows us to express our personalities. That's the beauty of it, James. We can be creative and have fun with our personal style. Let's keep exploring our fashion preferences and embracing the freedom to express ourselves, Rosie. Planning a barbecue. James, how about hosting a barbecue at your place this weekend? That sounds like a fantastic idea, Rosie. I love a good barbecue. What should we include in the menu? Let's go for classic burgers and hot dogs. I'll make a special marinade for the chicken too. And of course, lots of side dishes and salads. Classic barbecue staples are always a hit. I can handle the grilling, but do you have any grilling tips to share? Marinating the meat in advance and keeping a close eye on the temperature is essential. Plus, we'll need some delicious barbecue sauce. Great tips, Rosie. I'll make sure the grill is ready for action. Should we invite some friends to join us? Absolutely. The more, the merrier.
Let's create a memorable gathering with good food, good company, and some backyard games. I'm looking forward to it, Rosie. It's going to be a day filled with great food and fun. Discussing home improvement. James, have you thought about any home improvement projects to enhance your living space? Absolutely, Rosie. I'm considering adding some new lighting fixtures and giving the walls a fresh coat of paint. Lighting can make a big difference, and a fresh paint job can transform a room. I'm planning to redecorate the living room with some new furniture. Furniture can change the look and feel of a space. Have you thought about the color scheme or style? I'm leaning towards a more modern and minimalistic design with neutral colors. It creates a calm and clean ambience. Minimalistic designs are so appealing. It's incredible how a few changes can breathe new life into our homes. Home improvement projects are a great way to create a comfortable and inviting living environment. Let's make our homes the best they can be, Rosie. We can share ideas and support each other in these projects. Health and Fitness Progress James, it's been a while since we talked about our health and fitness routines. How's it going for you? It's been going well, Rosie. I've been consistent with my workouts and have started incorporating more fruits and vegetables into my diet. That's fantastic, James. Consistency is key. I've been trying different types of exercise to keep it interesting, and I'm also focusing on portion control in my meals. Variety in exercise is great for motivation. And controlling portion sizes is a smart approach. Have you set any specific wellness goals recently? I'm aiming to improve my flexibility, so I've been doing more yoga. I also want to drink more water and stay hydrated throughout the day. Yoga is excellent for flexibility and relaxation. Staying hydrated is a simple yet crucial goal. It's a good reminder of self-care. We're on the right track, James. It's about maintaining a healthy lifestyle and making small, sustainable changes. Let's keep supporting each other and continue making progress, Rosie. Making a travel itinerary. James, we've got that trip coming up. How about we create a detailed travel itinerary? That's a smart idea, Rosie. It'll help us stay organized and make the most of our time. First, let's confirm our accommodations. I've booked a cozy Airbnb for us in the heart of the city. Great choice, Rosie. I'll make sure to double-check the check-in details and any specific requirements. Now, what are the must-see places on our list? The local market, historical sites, and that famous bakery are all must-visits. Those are excellent choices. We can map out the locations and create a rough schedule for our sightseeing. Don't forget to pack all the necessary travel documents like passports, visas, and travel insurance. True, we should also keep digital copies of them just in case. Having a well-organized itinerary and travel essentials ensures a smooth trip. Let's finalize our plans and get ready for an amazing adventure, James. Movie Night at Home James, how about a cozy movie night at home this weekend? That sounds like the perfect way to relax, Rosie. What kind of movies are you in the mood for? I'm thinking of a feel-good romantic comedy. Something that'll make us laugh and feel warm inside. Romantic comedies are a great choice. I'll prepare some popcorn, and we can have a selection of our favorite snacks. Popcorn is a must, and I'll whip up some homemade guacamole and chips. Plus, we can't forget comfy blankets and cushions for the ultimate coziness. Agreed, we need a comfy setup. It's like having a mini cinema right at home. Let's create the perfect movie night atmosphere. It's going to be a memorable evening, James. Can't wait for some good laughs and quality time together. Discussing art and creativity. James, I've always been drawn to art and creativity. 
Do you have any artistic interests? Art is fascinating, Rosie. I've tried my hand at painting, and it's such a therapeutic and expressive outlet. Painting can be so relaxing. I've dabbled in photography, capturing moments and scenes that speak to me. Photography is a beautiful way to capture memories and create art. I also enjoy playing the guitar and writing songs. Music is a powerful form of art. I love dancing. It's a way to express myself and stay active. Dancing is a fantastic way to combine art and physical activity. It's incredible how different art forms allow us to express our creativity. Absolutely, James. Art adds depth and meaning to our lives. Let's keep exploring our artistic interests and finding inspiration in the world around us, Rosie. About swimming. Hi, Sarah. How was your weekend? Hi, Emma. It was amazing. I went swimming at the beach, and the weather was perfect. That sounds like so much fun. I wish I could have joined you. I love swimming in the ocean. It was a blast. The waves were just right for bodyboarding, too. You should come with me next time. I'd love to. I haven't been to the beach in a while. By the way, do you swim regularly? Yes, I try to swim at least a few times a week. It's a great workout and helps me relax. That's a good habit. I wish I had more time for swimming. I usually go to the local pool once a week. That's great. Even swimming once a week has its benefits. It's a full body exercise and good for cardiovascular health. You're right. I always feel refreshed after a swim. Have you ever taken swimming lessons? Yes, I took swimming lessons when I was younger. It helped me improve my technique and build confidence in the water. I never took formal lessons, but I learned the basics from my parents. I can swim, but I'd like to refine my strokes someday. You should consider taking some lessons again. It's never too late to improve your skills. That's true. I'll look into it. By the way, have you ever gone snorkeling or scuba diving? Yes, I've been snorkeling a few times. Exploring the underwater world is incredible. I haven't tried scuba diving yet, though. Snorkeling sounds amazing. I'd love to see colorful fish and coral reefs up close. Maybe we can plan a snorkeling trip together someday. That sounds like a fantastic idea. We should definitely plan a trip and explore the beauty beneath the waves. I'm already excited. Let's make it happen soon. In the meantime, I'll practice my swimming skills. Sounds like a plan. I'll join you, and we'll have a great time in the water. Can't wait. All right, Sarah, I need to run some errands now. Talk to you later. Sure thing, Emma. Have a great time running errands. See you soon. About swimming too. Hey, Lucas. Did you catch the swimming competition on TV last night? Hi, Aiden. Yes, I did. It was incredible. The swimmer's speed and technique were impressive. I agree. I was amazed by how smoothly they glide through the water. It makes me want to improve my swimming skills. You should definitely give it a try. Swimming is not only a great workout but also a life-saving skill. I know, right? I can swim, but I'm not very confident in deep water. I wish I could become a better swimmer. Don't worry. It just takes practice and confidence. Maybe we could go to the pool together, and I can give you some tips. That would be fantastic. I'd really appreciate some guidance. Let's plan it for this weekend. Sure, sounds like a plan. Oh, and have you ever tried open water swimming? No, I haven't. Is it much different from swimming in a pool? It can be more challenging since you don't have walls to push off and the water conditions can vary. But it's a unique experience. That sounds exciting, though a bit intimidating too. I'll work on my pool swimming first, and maybe later, we can try open water swimming together. Absolutely. Take it one step at a time.
safety is essential when swimming in open water, so it's good to be well prepared. You're right. Safety first. By the way, have you ever considered joining a swim team or club? I used to swim competitively in high school, and it was a lot of fun. Now, I prefer swimming as a recreational activity. I see. I'm thinking about joining a local swim club to stay motivated and meet other swimmers. That's a great idea. Being part of a club can provide you with a sense of community and help you set and achieve swimming goals. Exactly. I want to challenge myself and see how far I can go. Anyway, thanks for the encouragement. You're welcome, Aiden. I'm happy to help. Let's make this weekend's pool session the first step in your swimming journey. Deal. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again, Lucas. No problem, Aiden. See you on the weekend. About dancing. Hey Emma. Have you been to any dance classes recently? Hi, Sophie. Yes, I started taking salsa classes last month. It's so much fun. That's awesome. Salsa is such a lively and energetic dance style. Are you enjoying it? I absolutely love it. The music, the movements, everything feels so vibrant. Plus, it's a great way to stay active. I agree. Dancing is not only a fantastic form of exercise, but also a wonderful way to express yourself. Definitely. How about you? Have you been dancing lately? Yes, I've been attending contemporary dance workshops. It's a bit challenging, but the freedom of expression is incredibly rewarding. That sounds fantastic. Contemporary dance is so graceful and allows for more personal interpretation. Exactly. Each movement can tell a unique story, and that's what I find so captivating about it. I can imagine. Do you have a favorite dance move or routine you've learned so far? There's a beautiful choreography about the passage of time that really resonates with me. The transitions between movements are like poetry in motion. Wow, that sounds mesmerizing. I'd love to see you dance sometime. Sure, I'd be happy to show you. We could even practice some salsa moves together if you're interested. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm up for it. It's always nice to have a dance partner. Great. We can plan a dance session soon. By the way, have you ever thought about joining a dance performance or competition? Well, I've considered it, but I'm still a bit nervous about performing in front of a big audience. That's completely normal, and it's okay to take your time. When you feel ready, performing can be a thrilling experience. You're right. Maybe in the future, I'll give it a shot. For now, I'm just enjoying the journey of learning and improving. That's the spirit. Dance is all about growth and personal fulfillment. Just keep having fun with it, and everything will fall into place. Thanks for the encouragement, Sophie. I'm grateful to have a friend like you who shares the passion for dance. Likewise, Emma. Dance has brought so much joy into my life, and I'm glad we can share that joy together. About dancing too. Hey Sarah. Have you heard about the dance workshop happening this weekend? Hi, Ben. Yes, I did. I'm really excited about it. It's a hip-hop dance workshop, right? That's correct. It's going to be a two-day workshop with a renowned hip-hop choreographer. Wow, that sounds amazing. I've always wanted to learn hip-hop dance. It's so energetic and full of style. You should definitely join. I've attended workshops with this choreographer before, and he's fantastic at breaking down the moves step by step. That's good to hear. I'll sign up right away. Do we need any prior dance experience to participate? Not at all. The workshop is open to dancers of all levels, from beginners to more experienced ones. That's great. I've done some casual dancing before, but this will be my first formal dance workshop. I'm sure you'll have a blast. Workshops are a fantastic way to learn and improve your dance skills while having fun. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, have you been to any dance performances lately? 
Yes, I attended a contemporary dance performance last weekend. The choreography was so creative, and the dancers were incredibly talented. I love watching dance performances. The emotions and stories they convey through movement are so captivating. Absolutely. Dance has a way of speaking to the soul and touching our hearts. It really does. Hey, do you have any favorite dance styles? I've always been drawn to breakdancing. The way breakdancers can manipulate their bodies and do those incredible moves is just mind-blowing. Breakdancing is impressive. The athleticism and creativity involved are truly inspiring. For me, I love watching contemporary and jazz dance. Oh, those are beautiful styles too. The fluidity and expression in contemporary dance are mesmerizing, and jazz dance is so lively and fun. Exactly. Dance is such a diverse and expressive art form. I'm glad we both appreciate its beauty. Me too. Dance has been a significant part of my life, and I'm always thrilled to share the joy of movement with others. Well, I can't wait to experience that joy at the hip-hop workshop this weekend. Thanks for letting me know about it, Ben. You're welcome, Sarah. It's going to be an awesome time. See you there. See you. I'll practice my dance moves until then. About skating. Hey, Emily. Have you been to the ice skating rink lately? Hi, Oliver. Yes, I went last weekend. It was so much fun gliding on the ice. That's great to hear. I've been wanting to try ice skating. How was your experience? It was a bit challenging at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really enjoyable. You should definitely give it a try. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, but I'll take your word for it. Maybe we could go together sometime? Of course. I'd be happy to show you the basics and skate together. It's always more fun with company. Thanks, Emily. That would be awesome. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Sure thing. By the way, have you ever tried rollerblading? Yes, I have. Rollerblading is so much fun, especially on a sunny day at the park. I agree. It's a great way to enjoy the outdoors and get some exercise at the same time. Absolutely. And you can cover more distance compared to ice skating. That's true. Rollerblading is a fantastic way to explore new places and neighborhoods. Have you ever gone rollerblading in the city? Yes, I have. Skating through the city streets is exhilarating, but you need to be careful of the traffic. I can imagine. Safety first, for sure. I'll have to practice more before attempting that. Good idea. Safety gear like helmets and knee pads are essential when rollerblading. I'll make sure to get the proper gear. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. So, besides ice skating and rollerblading, have you tried skateboarding? Yes, I tried skateboarding a few years ago. It was challenging to keep my balance, but it was a lot of fun. Skateboarding takes some practice, but once you get the hang of it, it can be quite rewarding. You're right. I might give it another shot someday. Right now, I'm really looking forward to our ice skating session. Me too. It's going to be a blast. Just let me know when you're ready, and we'll plan it. Will do. Thanks, Emily. I'm excited about learning to ice skate with you. You're welcome, Oliver. I can't wait. See you soon. About skating too. Hey Mark. How was your weekend? Hi, Amy. It was fantastic. I went roller skating with some friends, and we had a great time. Roller skating sounds fun. I haven't done that in years. Do you go skating often? Not as often as I'd like, but I try to go whenever I can. It's a fun way to stay active and hang out with friends. I agree. Skating can be a great workout, and it brings back so many childhood memories. Absolutely. It's like a little escape from adulthood, and you can just enjoy the feeling of gliding on wheels. That sounds so freeing. 
I might have to dust off my old roller skates and join you next time. That would be awesome. The more, the merrier. By the way, have you ever tried ice skating? Yes, I have. I went ice skating with my family during the winter. It was a bit challenging to keep my balance, but I had a lot of fun. Ice skating can be a bit tricky at first, but it gets easier with practice. I can teach you some tips if you'd like. That would be great. I could use some pointers to improve my ice skating skills. Sure, we can set up a time to go ice skating together. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it quickly. Thanks, Mark. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have a favorite skating rink you go to? There's a nice roller rink downtown that I frequent. They have good music and a lively atmosphere. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll make sure to bring my favorite playlist when we go skating. Awesome. Having good music definitely adds to the experience. Oh, and speaking of music, have you ever tried roller disco? Roller disco? No, I haven't. What's that? It's like roller skating, but with disco lights and music. It's like a party on wheels. Wow, that sounds like a blast. I've seen some videos of roller disco, and it looks so cool. It really is. We should find a roller disco event and go together. It's a unique and fun experience. I'm totally up for that. Let's find one and make it a roller disco night to remember. You got it. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's plan the ice skating session first, and then we'll look for a roller disco event. Sounds like a plan, Mark. Thanks for suggesting all these skating adventures. My pleasure, Amy. I'm just excited to share the joy of skating with you. Same here. All right, see you soon, Mark. See you soon, Amy. Take care. About Niagara Falls. Hey Jack. Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Hi Sarah. Yes, I visited Niagara Falls a few years ago. It was absolutely breathtaking. Wow, I can imagine. I've seen pictures, but I've never been there myself. You should definitely go if you get the chance. The sheer power and beauty of the falls are mesmerizing. It's on my travel bucket list, for sure. Is it true that you can take a boat ride close to the falls? Yes, that's correct. There's a famous boat tour called the Maid of the Mist that takes you right up close to the falls. It's an incredible experience. That sounds amazing. I would love to feel the mist and hear the roar of the falls up close. It's a memorable experience, and you get to wear a special poncho to stay dry from the mist. Count me in. I'll make sure to put the Maid of the Mist on my itinerary when I visit. You won't regret it. By the way, there are also observation decks and viewpoints on both the American and Canadian sides that offer stunning views of the falls. That's great to know. I'll make sure to explore both sides to get different perspectives. Definitely. Each side has its unique charm. The Canadian side, in particular, offers panoramic views of all three waterfalls. I've heard the night illumination of the falls is also spectacular. Yes, it is. The falls are lit up with colorful lights, creating a magical and romantic atmosphere. That sounds like a perfect evening stroll. I can't wait to capture some beautiful photos. You'll get some stunning shots for sure. Oh, and there are also fireworks displays over the falls on certain nights during the summer. Wow, that's a great bonus. Niagara Falls seems like a dream destination. It truly is. The natural beauty and the sound of rushing water are so calming and awe-inspiring. I can't wait to experience it all. Thanks for sharing your experience, Jack. You're welcome, Sarah. I'm sure you'll have an unforgettable time at Niagara Falls. I'll make sure to tell you all about it when I get back. Thanks again. Looking forward to hearing all about your trip. 
Have a fantastic time, Sarah. Thanks, Jack. Take care. About Niagara Falls, too. Hey, Lisa. I heard you're planning a trip to Niagara Falls. That's so exciting. Hi, Alex. Yes, I can't wait. It's been on my bucket list for years. You're in for an amazing experience. Niagara Falls is simply breathtaking. I've seen pictures, but I can't even imagine what it's like in person. The sheer power of the falls and the thundering sound of the water are something you have to experience to truly appreciate. I'm getting more excited by the minute. I was wondering, do you have any recommendations for things to do around the falls? Absolutely. Apart from the boat tour, you should explore the Niagara Falls State Park on the American side. There are beautiful walking trails and observation points to get different views of the falls. That sounds wonderful. I'm planning to spend a day on each side, the American and the Canadian. That's a great plan. On the Canadian side, don't miss the journey behind the falls, where you can stand behind the cascading water. It's quite an experience. Oh, I've heard about that. It sounds thrilling. And what about the nearby attractions? There's plenty to do in the area. You can visit the Clifton Hill Entertainment District on the Canadian side, which has lots of fun activities, restaurants, and shops. I'll make sure to check it out. I'm also interested in the Niagara Whirlpool and the Butterfly Conservatory. Both are worth visiting. The Whirlpool is a natural wonder, and the Butterfly Conservatory is a serene and colorful escape. It all sounds perfect. Oh, and I heard that you can take a helicopter ride over the falls for a bird's eye view. Have you tried it? Yes, I did, and it was an unforgettable experience. Seeing the falls from above is awe-inspiring. I think I'll give it a shot. It must be an incredible sight from up there. It definitely is. Just make sure to have your camera ready to capture the stunning views. Will do. Thanks for all the great recommendations, Alex. I can't wait to make the most of my trip to Niagara Falls. You're welcome, Lisa. I'm sure you'll have an incredible time. Enjoy every moment. I will. Thanks again, Alex. See you when I get back. See you then, Lisa. Safe travels and have a fantastic trip. About Mother's Day. Hey, Sarah. Mother's Day is coming up. Do you have any plans to celebrate? Hi, Emma. Yes, I do. I'm planning to take my mom out for a special brunch at her favorite restaurant. That's a lovely idea. Spending quality time with our moms is the best gift we can give. Absolutely. And I also bought her a beautiful bouquet of flowers. She loves flowers, and I know it will make her day. That's thoughtful of you. Moms always appreciate the little gestures of love and appreciation. They do. How about you? Any plans for Mother's Day? I'm planning to surprise my mom with a homemade dinner. I've been practicing a new recipe that I think she'll enjoy. That's wonderful. I'm sure your effort and thoughtfulness will mean the world to her. I hope so. Moms deserve all the love and recognition for everything they do for us. You're absolutely right. They are our biggest supporters and cheerleaders. And they always put our needs before their own. Mother's Day is just a small way to show our gratitude. I couldn't agree more. I'm grateful for everything my mom has done for me. Same here. Moms play such a vital role in shaping our lives. They truly do. So, besides the brunch and flowers, do you have any other surprises planned for your mom? I'm also planning to create a photo album with some of our memorable moments together. It'll be a lovely keepsake for her. That's such a thoughtful and heartfelt gift. I'm sure she'll cherish it forever. I hope so. Anyway, I'm looking forward to Mother's Day. It's a special day to celebrate the incredible moms in our lives. It really is. They deserve all the love and appreciation. Let's make it a day to remember for our moms. Absolutely. I wish all the moms out there a very happy Mother's Day. 
Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful moms indeed. They are the real superheroes in our lives. About Teacher's Day Hey, Mark. Did you know that Teacher's Day is coming up soon? Hi, Sophie. Yes, I heard about it. It's a day to appreciate and thank all our teachers for their hard work and dedication. Exactly. Teachers play such an important role in shaping our lives and future. They certainly do. I'm really grateful for all the teachers who have guided me throughout my education. Me too. They've not only taught us academic subjects, but also valuable life lessons. That's so true. Their influence goes beyond the classroom. Are you planning anything special for Teacher's Day? I'm thinking of writing a heartfelt thank you note to some of my favorite teachers, expressing my gratitude for their support and encouragement. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure they'll appreciate your kind words. I hope so. How about you, Sophie? Any plans to celebrate Teacher's Day? Yes, I'm planning to get a small gift for my favorite teacher. She's been an incredible mentor, and I want to show my appreciation. That's a thoughtful gesture. I'm sure she'll be touched by your gift. I hope so. Our teachers work so hard, and this is just a small way to show them how much they mean to us. Absolutely. They deserve all the recognition and appreciation for their dedication to teaching. They really do. So many teachers go above and beyond to make a positive impact on their students' lives. It's true. I've been lucky to have some truly inspiring teachers who have made a lasting impression on me. Same here. I'll always be grateful for the knowledge and wisdom they've shared. Teacher's Day is a reminder for us to express our gratitude not just on this day, but throughout the year. You're absolutely right. We should acknowledge their efforts and support them in any way we can. I couldn't agree more. Let's make this Teacher's Day special for our teachers. Agreed. Happy Teacher's Day to all the amazing teachers out there. Happy Teacher's Day indeed. They are the real heroes in education. About sleepover. Hey, Emma. I was wondering if you'd like to have a sleepover at my place this weekend. Hi, Amy. That sounds like so much fun. I'd love to have a sleepover with you. Great. We can watch movies, play games, and have some delicious snacks. Count me in. I'll bring some popcorn and my favorite board games. Awesome. I'll make sure to have some pizza and ice cream ready for us. Yum. Sounds like the perfect sleepover menu. And we can also do some pampering with face masks and nail painting. That's a fantastic idea. A little self-care will make the sleepover even more enjoyable. I thought you'd like that. Oh, and we can build a blanket fort in the living room for a cozy movie-watching experience. Yes, yes, yes. Blanket forts are the best. I can't wait to hang out and have a blast. It's going to be so much fun. We can stay up late and talk about everything, just like we used to do when we were kids. I miss those times. It'll be great to relive those memories. Definitely. Sleepovers are all about creating wonderful memories together. Hey, do you want me to bring my guitar? We can have a mini jam session or even write a silly song. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. I'd love to sing along with you. It'll be like our little concert. I can't wait. It's going to be the best sleepover ever. Agreed. We'll make it a night to remember. I'm already looking forward to it. Thanks for inviting me, Amy. You're welcome, Emma. I'm so excited too. It's going to be a sleepover to remember. See you on Saturday. See you then. Have a great day. About sleepover too. Hey, Lily. I was thinking, how about having a sleepover this weekend? Hi, Sophie. That sounds like a fantastic idea. I'm in. Yay. It's going to be so much fun. We can watch movies, play games, and catch up on everything. Absolutely. I've missed our sleepovers. 
They're always filled with laughter and good times. Me too. I love spending time with you. Oh, and we can try out some new recipes and have a mini cooking session. That sounds like a delicious plan. I'll bring some dessert recipes to try. Perfect. I'll make sure to have all the ingredients ready. We'll be like master chefs in the kitchen. I can't wait. And we can also have a little photo shoot. We always take the silliest pictures together. Yes, we do. Those pictures are the best memories. We'll create some more funny ones this time. I've got some crazy props we can use for the photo shoot. That's awesome. We'll have a blast being silly and making memories. Oh, and don't forget the dance party. We always dance like no one's watching. Absolutely. It's our tradition, and I can't wait to dance our hearts out. It's going to be epic. Hey, do you want me to bring some face masks and pampering goodies? Yes, please. A little spa night will be perfect for some relaxation. I'll make sure we have all the essentials for a pampering session. You're the best. I'm so excited for this sleepover. Me too. It's going to be a night to remember. Hey, let's invite Jessica and Emma too. The more, the merrier. Great idea. I'll text them right away. Awesome. I can't wait to see everyone and have the best sleepover ever. It's going to be a blast. I'll see you on Saturday. See you then. Have a fantastic day. About beauty contest. Hey, Sarah. Have you heard about the upcoming beauty contest in town? Hi, Emma. Yes, I have. I saw some posters about it. It sounds exciting. I know, right? I'm thinking of participating. It could be a fun experience. That's fantastic. You'd make a great contestant. You have a natural charm and confidence. Thank you. I'm a bit nervous, though. There will be so many talented and beautiful participants. Don't worry about that. You have your unique qualities that will shine on the stage. You're so encouraging, Sarah. Maybe I'll give it a shot. You definitely should. It's not just about physical beauty, it's about expressing your personality and confidence. I guess you're right. It's more than just looking good, it's about being comfortable in your own skin. Exactly. Confidence and grace can make a huge difference in a beauty contest. I'll work on my poise and public speaking skills. Those are important aspects of the competition. That's a great approach. Remember, it's also about enjoying the experience and making new friends. You're right. It's an opportunity to connect with other participants and learn from each other. Absolutely. And even if you don't win, the experience and personal growth are valuable. You're such a positive influence, Sarah. Thanks for being so supportive. Anytime, Emma. I believe in you. So, have you decided on your evening gown and talent performance? Not yet. I'm still figuring that out. I want to choose something that reflects my personality. That's a good approach. Being authentic is essential. You want to feel comfortable and confident in what you wear. Exactly. I'm going to go shopping this weekend to find the perfect gown. I'm sure you'll find something stunning. And for the talent performance, just choose something you enjoy doing. I have a few ideas in mind, like singing or dancing. I'll practice and see which one feels right. Sounds like a plan. Just be yourself and you'll do great. Thanks, Sarah. Your encouragement means a lot to me. You're welcome, Emma. I can't wait to see you shine on the stage. I'll keep you updated.
Thanks again for the support, Sarah. Anytime, Emma. Go rock that beauty contest. About beauty contest, too. Hey, Lisa. Have you heard about the beauty contest happening next month? Hi, Jessica. Yes, I have. It's been all over social media. Are you thinking of participating? I'm considering it, but I'm not sure if I have what it takes. Oh, come on. You're beautiful, talented, and confident. You would be an excellent contestant. Thanks for the kind words, Lisa. I'm just worried about the competition. There will be so many other amazing contestants. I understand your concerns, but remember that each one of you will bring something unique to the stage. You're right. I shouldn't compare myself to others. It's about embracing who I am. Exactly. Beauty contests celebrate individuality and self-expression. I suppose it's an opportunity to boost my confidence and showcase my personality. Absolutely. And it's not just about physical beauty. It's about inner beauty, charisma, and intelligence too. I'll work on presenting myself with poise and grace. The interviews and Q&A segments are crucial. That's a great approach. Your communication skills and personality will shine in those segments. I hope so. By the way, have you ever participated in a beauty contest? Yes, I have. I took part in a local pageant a few years ago. It was a fantastic experience. Oh, that's interesting. How was your experience, and did you win any titles? I didn't win the crown, but I made some amazing friends and gained so much confidence in the process. That sounds like a valuable experience, regardless of the outcome. It really was. And the support from family and friends was heartwarming. I'm glad to hear that. I have my family's support, but I'm still a bit nervous. It's normal to feel nervous, but remember that this is a chance to showcase your beauty and talent. You're right. I'll give it some more thought and make a decision soon. Take your time. It's essential to feel confident in your decision. Thanks for being so encouraging, Lisa. I'll keep you updated on my decision. You're welcome, Jessica. No matter what you decide, I'll be cheering you on. That means a lot to me. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome, Jessica. Now go out there and shine. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications of our new videos and also comment. For more videos like this please check out the playlist on end screen. Thanks for watching.